Raypack, part of the Ream family of companies. As a reminder to all of our participants, the instruction provided in this training is intended for qualified and experienced professionals. If you are not qualified, please do not attempt to apply these instructions on your own. This is another presentation of Raypack's Boiler Bite-Sized Bits. Welcome to a Boiler Bite-Sized Bit. In this presentation, you will learn the basics of piping layouts and how that relates to mode selections in the Versa program. When you read and understand the Boiler and Versa manuals, you will find a lot of the mode selection parts sound the same. That is why this table was developed. The Xverse is unique in that it can be plumbed either primary or primary secondary. It can be run purely as a hydronic boiler or you can set it up with an indirect potable water system on it. This table summarizes all of that. There are three possible modes. Modes 1 and 2 can be plumbed primary or primary secondary. Mode 3 is primary secondary only. All can run single or multiple boilers. All can run with or without outdoor reset. The difference lies in whether or not an indirect domestic hot water system is present and where it is at. No indirect? Then it's a mode 1. Indirect present on the system loop? Then it's a mode 2. Indirect present on the boiler loop? Then it's a mode 3. In mode 2, you have the option for priority. In mode 3, the priority option is standard. An important note here is, if you are setting up a primary system with more than one boiler, PIM dip switch number 3 is off and the isolation valves must be used. When you commission a new Versa controlled boiler, you set the mode selection in the adjustment section of the operations menu. The installation and operation manual covers the mode selections in this order, so this presentation will mirror that sequence. First we will present the primary secondary modes, then the primary modes. First we will present mode 1 with primary secondary plumbing. This is by far the most common configuration with this boiler. Mode 1, primary secondary, can be applied to both single boilers and multiple boiler cascade systems. Here is a drawing for a Mode 1 primary secondary system with a single boiler. It's primary secondary because there are two loops, the boiler loop and the system loop. And that's how you should refer to them, the boiler loop and the system loop, not the primary loop and the secondary loop. What you are calling the primary loop might be different from that which the person you are speaking to thinks is the primary loop. The place where the two loops overlap is called the decoupler. The decoupler is the magic of a primary secondary system. When built properly, this will allow the bigger system pump to run when the boiler is not running without forcing water through the boiler. This is a mode 1 cascade system. Boiler A on the left is the master boiler and boilers B, C, and D are the followers. All of the same decoupler concepts apply, only now they apply to the whole cascade. An important part of plumbing boilers in cascade is to use reverse return logic. The first boiler out to the loop is the last boiler to receive water back from the loop. So what makes a mode 1 primary secondary a mode 1? It's not what's there, but what's not there. There's no indirect domestic hot water system present. It's just a straight up hydronic heater. Next, we will present Mode 2 for primary secondary systems. Just as with Mode 1, we can run Mode 2 with single or multiple boilers. The key thing is that now there is an indirect domestic hot water tank on the system loop. In Mode 2, primary secondary, you still have the two loops the boiler loop, and the system loop. The decoupler is still there to pressure isolate the two loops. What makes this a mode 2 is the addition of an indirect domestic hot water heat exchanger tank on the system loop. A more detailed explanation of how mode 2 systems work can be found on the Xverse Part 2 Wages Approach video. 
mode 2 is also possible in Cascade. As with the single boiler system, the indirect domestic hot water tank is out on the system loop. When in Cascade, there can be only one master boiler, the A boiler here. The other boilers are the follower boilers. Always apply reverse return logic to plumbing cascade systems. The first boiler out to the system is the last in line on the return. So what makes a MO2 primary secondary a MO2? You have an indirect domestic hot water system on the system loop. The Xverse is capable of primary and primary secondary plumbing in mode 1 and mode 2 only. When in mode 3, the plumbing must be primary secondary only. What makes a mode 3 unique is the presence of an indirect domestic hot water heat exchanger on the boiler loop. Mode 3 is always with priority. This is a mode 3 primary secondary single boiler system. The same plumbing is applied here. You have a boiler loop and a system loop. The indirect domestic hot water heat exchanger is on the boiler loop in this case. Mode 3 can also be ran in cascade. Here the A boiler is the master boiler and the others are followers. Being a multiple boiler cascade system, reverse return plumbing logic applies. It is a mode 3 because the indirect domestic hot water system is on the boiler loop. So what makes a mode 3 a mode 3? It must be plumbed primary secondary and it must have an indirect domestic hot water system on the boiler loop. As stated, the Xverse is unique in that it can be plumbed primary as well as primary secondary. This is because it is a media mass boiler with a big stainless steel fire tube tank filled with water. Primary plumbing options are great for situations like replacing an old cast iron sectional boiler. First, we'll present mode one primary systems. That is straight hydronic without an indirect system present at all. Always turn off dip switch number three on the PIM for X first primary systems. This tells the boiler it is plumbed primary only. This is a mode one primary plumb system with a single boiler. As you can see, there is only one loop in a primary system. In some geographies, a motorized isolation valve is required, even on single boiler systems. It should be set to spring to open, power to close. Here is a mode one primary system in cascade. Note, each boiler has a motorized isolation valve to prevent flow through the boiler when the boiler is not firing. There is also a pressure relief bypass valve to protect the system pump from cavitation in the event all of the boilers are not firing. Reverse return logic is applied to the plumbing. The first boiler to provide heat to the system is the last to get return flow. This keeps the pressure balanced. So what makes a mode one primary a mode one primary? There is no indirect domestic hot water system present at all, and the system is plumbed primary only, with no secondary loop. The last option we have is on plumbing mode 2 primary systems. Here there is an indirect domestic hot water tank on the system loop. For all primary systems, dip switch number 3 on the PIM must be off. As before, this tells the Xverse that it is plumbed primary. This is a single boiler mode 2 primary system. It's just a single loop with an indirect domestic hot water system on the loop. That motorized isolation valve might be required depending upon your local codes. This is a mode 2 primary system in Cascade. It has motorized isolation valves on each boiler. Reverse return plumbing logic is always standard in cascade systems. The indirect domestic hot water loop is indicated. So what makes a mode 2 primary a mode 2? The indirect domestic hot water is present on the single loop and if it is a cascade system, motorized isolation valves are, are present. 
Here are some overall pointers on plumbing systems and how they relate to mode selection. Identify all of the parts of the system. Look for what is there as well as what is not there. Is it plumbed primary or primary secondary? In most cases, with no indirect domestic hot water present, mode one will be your selection. If you do have an indirect domestic hot water present on the system loop, then it is a mode two. If you have an indirect domestic hot water system present on the boiler loop, then it's a mode three. This has been a concise boiler bite-sized bit on basic plumbing and mode selection, specifically for the Xverse fire tube boiler. For more details on the plumbing diagrams with all of the sensors discussed and all of the operations described, please see the Xverse part two wages approach video. Raypack, engineered to perform, built to last.